Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl Dazzle Me 77 and I am back with another video. I'm so excited to do this video. Something that everyone is talking about, but I am excited to tell you guys about my take on it and my spin. So if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. If you are already a subscriber and you are returning, thank you so much for your support. It means so very, very, very much. And if you're new, I hope you like what you see and consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you over here. So what am I talking about? As y'all can tell from the title of this video, what did I get from the Coach Denim Drop? So before I even start, there are some pieces that are still on the way, but I would do a video later. I really want to get this video out for anyone who is still on the fence about what to do and what to buy. Y'all hear that Amazon drop off. <laughs> so anyway, Let's start with my story, and that's the reason why this video is set up the way it is. Normally, if you're new, I normally just keep the camera zoomed in on the bag, but for this one, I thought since I was going to be chatting a little bit, it would be better for you guys to see me, okay? Some of y'all might be saying that's good. Others might say that's bad, but it is what it is, right? So, let's rewind the time. December 23, um, I wanted, I don't know specifically if it was the beginning or the ending part of December, but Coach dropped their 2024 Spring one, Runway Collection. Oh my gosh, I will never forget it. I was at work. It was probably about three o'clock before I saw it. I immediately text my homegirl determined to be and I was like, I got to get that bag. At the time, I was talking about the black quilted Tabby 26 with the silver hardware. As you guys can see, I'm a silver girl, love silver. I really wasn't thinking everybody was going to jump on the bandwagon the way they did. I knew it was a special release, but I did not know that special. So by the time I got home at six o'clock, that collection had sold out. I was completely bummed. Y'all, I was so upset um, because I was looking for the perfect dress up bag for me that fits my lifestyle, fits my personality. And I really thought that bag was it. So fast forward to January. It's my birthday month. I was trying to decide what bag I wanted. We're bag girls, so you know, you're more than likely we're all going to purchase a bag or get a bag as a gift for our birthday month. Sorry, somebody was outside. <laughs> but anyway, I was trying to decide what I wanted. And at the time, I started seeing little sneak drops of the denim collection. Now, mind you, my birthday's early in January, so I take cruises. So that first week to two weeks, I'm really not focused on social media at all. I'm just celebrating and living it up. But I fell in love, y'all. I saw the Tabby, the Quilted Tabby 26 and the Indigo, and I will insert a picture here. Um, I love that bag. I was so in love with that bag, but it was not yet available. So I told my husband, I was like, do I end up buying this bag and loving it and miss out because they have brought the quilted tabby 26 with the silver hardware and the one with the brass hardware back so i was like do i end up buying the bag that i've been watching which was the one with the silver hardware and miss out on this indigo when it pops out what do i do so i decided to wait i did i wanted to see i wanted to give myself that chance to see if i'm gonna love this bag or not right um i did that with the last year's job i wanted the tabby shoulder bag in the black denim it sold out anyway let me bring y'all back to now so the denim pieces starting to trickle out one by one, piece by piece. They're on different sites. They're on Coach. They're on Dillis. They're on Macy's. They're on Nordstrom. Uh, Coach doesn't even have all their pieces. Some of the other stores have their pieces. And I saw 
a couple of pieces that I wanted. So that further pushed off my decision to go ahead and purchase the black um, quilted tabby 26 with the silver hardware that I wanted. So long story short, when it was available, I purchased the Coach Tabby 26 in the Indigo. I also purchased the Coach Tabby 26 in the black denim. I will post pictures here as well. Y'all, when I opened the box on the Indigo, I was impressed. It was beautiful. But my heart went from here to here. When I seen that black I looked and looked and looked at the stock pictures over and over again. I was like, this is not what Coach advertised. This bag is so much lighter than what is on the website. I was just so disheartened. I was just so upset. So I kept the bags and you guys will notice on my channel, if I know I'm not going to keep a bag, I will not do a video on it. Um... That's just me. I don't have any opinions about anybody that does, but that's just me. I'm not going to do a video on it. Um, number one, I hate receiving return bags and um, I hate returning bags. So it's just not my thing. So I did post some pictures when I first initially opened the box. Um, like I said, I'll insert some more if I have additional ones. But I was just, I was a little underwhelmed. And for like two to three days, I just went back and forth. Um, most of the time, um, I work Monday through Friday. I don't wear a lot of denim during the week. It doesn't fit my job. Um, it doesn't fit me what I do on a daily basis. I have denim on today because it's Saturday. But most of the times, even then, um, I don't wear a lot of denim. So... I was like, Shonda, you're going to pay $5.50 a piece. So that's $1,100 plus tax for two denim bags that you're probably not even going to wear like that. So, y'all, I went back and forth, back and forth. So I was like, you know what? This was one of those times when I should have went with my gut and just got my denim quilt. I mean, sorry, my black quilted denim. Y'all, I'm tongue tied y'all can see I'm passionate about this. This was one of those times when I knew I should have went with my gut feeling of purchasing the black quilted with the silver hardware. Regardless to what the hype was, regardless to what everyone was loving, I should have went with my gut. So now I returned those two bags. I didn't even tell my purse sisters. So that was a whole nother issue because they was like, girl... Why, why are you waiting so long to show me the bag? Why are you waiting so long? And I forgot to add, I also added, um, I did purchase the Cassie and she's beautiful, but I sent her back too for that same reason. I just don't wear denim like that. I'm more of a dress up, um, work casual type of girl. So that was three bags I sent back. So I finally said I was at peace about it. And I finally ordered my black quilted 26 with silver hardware from coach purchased it made me a little note with it i was so excited but i didn't tell my purse sisters i didn't tell them because i wanted it to be a surprise we do little stuff like that all the time right so y'all i'm sitting in the house and i go to work so i purchased that i want to say on the weekend i usually try to purchase on the weekend so it'll be delivered when i'm home like midweek so Tuesday, I'm thinking I'm going to get an order processing. We'll deliver by. Mm -mm. Y'all, I get this. Yes. Coach canceled my order. Y'all, I was so hurt. I was so hurt. So I started looking at other sites. The black with the silver hardware was sold out everywhere. When I say everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. So I resorted back to looking at some of my pictures that I saw when I originally saw the collection, which was the Willow bag. I'll show it there. I started looking and that one was on Dillard's. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get this bag and I'm going to be complete with this being what I get from the drop, right? No.
No. So I happen to go over to Neiman Marcus. Y'all see I'm smiling, right? I go to Neiman Marcus and they have my Tabby 26 with silver hardware. And guess what, y'all? Because I had not purchased anything from Neiman Marcus, I was able to be considered a new customer if I signed up for the emails and I could get 15% off. I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to get 15% off on this bag. And yes, I did. So I ended up purchasing my bag from Neiman Marcus and I'm getting ready to open it with you guys and get the whole feel with you guys because I know a lot of you have been talking to me on IG or either sending me texts if we talk personally. What did you do, Dazzle? So I ended up, it ended up being a blessing because I purchased from Neiman Marcus, got it for the 15% off, which was, I ended up paying $4.76 for it. And then I got an additional $47 back and I'll insert those receipts. So y'all know I dropped proof. Um, I ended up getting another 47 back with Rakuten. So if you're not using Rakuten, please, 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 I'll leave my Rakuten code below. You get money back. Um, your first purchase over $30, you'll get um, 30 and I'll get 30. I think your first purchase over 30, check out the details, but it is so worth it. So y'all, without further ado, We're going to talk about my baby. So I'm so happy to get this bag. I don't know if at this point I should really switch over to just showing y'all what it is um, that I'm unboxing because I find those videos so much more helpful than when people are talking to me straight on. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back and when I come back, we're going to open this up together. Y'all already know I'm going to be cheesing from 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 ear to ear when I open this bag. Now there is a disclaimer. I did open her briefly for one of my purse sisters because she was feeling like I was neglecting her. I ain't gonna say no names. <clears throat> I'm not gonna say no names on who it was, but we did enjoy opening it um, just to look at it, but I did not unwrap and all of that stuff. So hold on for one minute and I'll be right back. All right, hello, hello, I'm back. So y'all, now that we got story time over, yes! Look at my baby, she is here from Neiman Marcus. Um, let me adjust the camera so we can see her. And she has this beautiful note that says on the front, surprise, a gift for you, plus a special message from the sender. She is finally here. So you guys, the purpose of this video is follow your gut. Follow your gut. If you see a bag that you want, go ahead and get it. Get it. I wanted this bag in December. I waited. I passed on it. Um, she sold out. She came back. I ordered her. She went out of stock. So if I had just got her from the very beginning, None of this would have happened, but I also wouldn't have got her for such a great price. So this is what she looks like. This is my first time. I thought I had ordered from Neiman Marcus before, but if they say I haven't, hey, I haven't. I'm not even going to get mad at them. But this is what this looks like. So let's go ahead and pull her out. Y'all have probably seen ah, several unboxings already. Um, this is just what the paper looks like on the inside. Ah, oh, y'all, she feels so good. Oh, I love her. Y'all, this bag is gorgeous. So let's go ahead and look inside. She has the tabby bag, genuine Napa leather. Y'all, look at how pretty she is. Ah. Oh. Y'all, this bag is everything. I know a lot of people were kind of concerned because they said these bags are small. But trust me, trust me, when I tell you they're small, but they hold quite a bit. Um, This one is a little tight, though. Um, I guess I'm used to how my Willow feels and my other tabby. 
um, shoulder bag. So inside of here, you have your little dust cloth, dust cloth, y'all, dust bag. I'm excited. Um, I can't believe I finally got her. I'm just so happy that I finally got this bag. So this is what she looks like. Now this would definitely be, I got this bag so I could carry her for like special occasions. Me and my husband do date night a lot. Also for on a cruise, I think she's excellent for a cruise. Um, for, for days like that, that, that's why I got her. That is why I got her. Y'all hear all that noise? I promise this like Dazzle doing a video. Everybody in the neighborhood that has an ATV, a motorcycle, or any of the above, please come by her house. She appreciates that. Thank you. Y'all know I'm dramatic. But I'm going to go off camera and un take all this stuff off and we're going to look at her together, okay? All right, you guys, so I'm back. There is no words to describe how beautiful she is. And I am going to take a closer look at her offline because I know some people were talking about pop stitches and all of that kind of stuff and denting. And I'll be honest, I am a stickler for bags, but it's for the more obvious stuff. Um, maybe I should pay more close attention to stuff like that, but I generally don't really look at all of that okay but y'all that silver this just tsk, hello excuse me um i'm ready to sign my ticket now <laughs> y'all know i'm gonna i'm gonna cut up when i get off this um video so this is her and y'all know i will come back with the what's in my bag later but i did want to show you guys her i know y'all have seen her all over um social media but y'all ain't see mine <laughs> and the crazy thing is that if i had a kept the two other denim bags my video would have been brought to you sooner but in essence of trying to make sure that i'm utilizing the funds that i work hard for in the right way i just thought even though the denim bags are gorgeous I need to get what fits my personality and my lifestyle. This bag says dazzle all the way. Um, I do like the 33 that's black on black, but my husband bought me that Kurt Geiger double XL bag. And I really think if I got the 33, it would be competing with the Kurt Geiger bag. And I don't want to do that. And so I'm happy with my 26. Again, I will do a more in-depth video on her at another time. But I wanted to show her, show you guys what all I got from that collection. So the other piece that I got was the Bandit card case with the um, Silver C. I do have the quilted card wallet but it has a brass c and i specifically wanted silver to match this this is a little bit more structured than the floppy ones as you can see but still awesome genuine full grain leather and you have this oh that feels good that's leather as well then you have the opening here then you have a slot here as well. And then you have one, two, three slots on the back. So I think she would be more than sufficient as a wallet for that setup, okay? So also from this denim collection, I did purchase um, some shoes. And the shoes that I purchased were sandals. Just so you guys know, I did have foot surgery Um in 2021 i've talked about it several times but i do have hereditary bunions and on my left foot i did get that corrected my feet look fine i mean you can look and tell but i can't wear really really high heels i can wear wedges i can wear things of that nature so the heels that they had that would match um the wedge heels i wanted those but they sold out and Dazzle not wearing those stilettos. So I was like, let me find just some regular sandals that I can wear. Um, the black sandals that were the slides that everybody is looking at. I'll put a picture here. They had a gold 
um, a brass C. So I didn't want that. So I'm going to show you guys also what else I bought to go with this bag. So this right here, I love these. Oh, they look so good on my feet. These right here are the, let me tell you the name, the Bren. Y'all see that? If I bring it too close, it's not going to feed in. But these are the Bren leather sandals in size 11. I love these because they have the black um, C on there. I also love it because nobody has shown this. That's a Velcro, you guys. So those people that are like me, have skinny feet, you can adjust these so they fit you. If you have fat feet, you can adjust them out. So that is a nice feature on these sandals. And y'all, tell me, tell me that's not fire. That's not fire. I do have some silver heels that I have coming, um, but they are not coach. Um, and like I told you before with my um, foot issues, um, and I will insert a picture because I want y'all to be like, oh gosh, she got terrible feet. No, my feet look great, but um, I do have to be cautious about what I wear, especially since I had surgery. So that is the black pair that I purchased. And y'all know your girl favorite sandals are Tory Burch. I love Tory Burch sandals. They are so comfortable. Um, I typically don't shoot for the thong ones that um, fit between your toe. Again, since I had surgery, I did have some tendon release on some of my toes. Um, that little thong in the middle tends to aggravate my foot. And so I know you like, that's why you're doing all this shopping. Because I had already allotted in my budget for two, two of the um, <laughs> tabbies. And since I didn't get two tabbies, I got to get my money's worth, right? So these right here, and I love them. Again, I will insert a picture of these on my feet. These are the Tory Burch. Um, ooh, that picture is horrible for this. Let me just read it to you. And I'll insert a picture. These are the Tory Burch Ines Cage um, Slide. This is in the metallic leather. And the color is silver and wild. They have another one where the bottom of the shoe is more purple. But I don't wear a lot of purple. And I felt this color would look really good. So you see that Tory Burch emblem? And you see that? You already know that's going to give y'all a little picture with those on there. So I did get these Tory Burch sandals. So I would have something to match with it because I knew there wasn't gold. Let me slide back. Also in this denim collection, we're going to stick with the denim collection before I go any further. I did purchase my beautiful, beautiful Willow shoulder bag. And I feel like I'm not giving her justice right now. Um, let me slide some of this stuff back and I might take these off. Let me take the shoes off because I want y'all to see how nice this bag is. Now, Dillard's also has the Willow 24. Now, I want you guys to know this is the Willow shoulder bag. The Willow 24 is smaller than this, okay? It is way smaller. This is the shoulder bag. So, as you can see, it is beautiful. It has the gold hardware seat in the front. It has the twist lock. Even the twist lock has coach written on it, okay? Um, we're going to stick with the outside. This strap right here is so comfortable and it is adjustable. I have it on the medium or the middle where it was when I first got it. You see it has that beautiful like burgundy purple red glazing on this and this really helps with making sure the back stays on your shoulder but also provides cushioning on the bottom you have that smooth leather and you have four feet four brass feet and this is absolutely gorgeous this bag feels amazing on the side you have um look at there you have the coach um hang tag and like the vaquetta color. And then you have a leather piece that has grommets on it. And those grommets also say coach. 
um this bag is just beautiful and this is what it looks like from the back on the inside let me move this out of the way on the inside i do have the crossbody strap and it is a thick strap and it also has that red kind of like glazing in it it's so pretty and then this side is just a side pocket and then you have a slip pocket right here that you can put whatever you want because it is longer than a card so you probably could put quite a bit of things in here i would say if you wanted to put like your lotions lip gloss stuff like that this pocket would work really good for that because it's snug to the bag but not so snug that you can't put items in it um, the thing about this side is I know a lot of people said they steered away from this bag because of the top is open, but you do have a clasp there. You hear that? So it really depends on what you put in here um, to maintain the security. Now, a lot of people hate bags with center zips. I personally like it because I don't use it as a center zip. I use it as a divider. I also sometimes use this like when I'm in a hurry, as you can see the dust bag is in there. Instead of me putting my, my phone down here, I'll just slip my phone like this so it slips in the top. And that way you never have to worry about digging inside of your bag because you can just put your phone right there, okay? On this side, which I would consider the secure side, you have the turn lock. And so your items are not going to fall out unless they are smaller items. So you just have to be mindful of what you're putting inside of there. So it's a very, very roomy bag. I also purchased um, the Bifold Wallet. You guys have already seen that on the IG um, Reel and also on my Facebook Shorts. I love this wallet. I've been in her for a little while um, and I really like her. I've been wearing her with my Rogue. Um, and I also <laughs> purchased these in the denim from Macy's and I wanna say they still have them. Um, I wear a size 11, so sometimes my shoe size, well, all the time my shoe size sells out really quick. And so I was able to get these in the denim and the C. I'll insert a picture of what they look like because I'll have to show you later what they look like on me. But I love them. The other thing that came out around this time, and I haven't seen a lot of people, I want to say shout out to my subby that sent this to me that Victoria's Secret had this wristlet um, that came out as well. And y'all know I jumped on that quickly because look how it looks with this bag. It's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So as far as coach items, in addition to the shoes that are coming, and I'm contemplating back and forth. Uh, no, I'm lying. I did get the wristlet. Um, from Macy's because Macy's has the wristlet in the denim and they also have it in the black. I am contemplating getting the Willow 24 because like I told y'all before, no more will I say I'm going to wait on a bag that I love. If I love it, I'm going to go ahead and get it and then I'll worry if I need to send it back later, but waiting for prices to drop and all of that stuff, I'm not doing that no more, okay? So this is all my denim stuff. Like I told you before, because I had a budget. Now, this put me over my budget. So just so you guys know, I know a lot of times we talk about um, purse bands, purse prisons, purse, I've heard band dollars. I've heard so many different things. I don't do that. I did that. I want to say in 21 when I first started my channel and I was miserable. So I normally set a budget for spending. That could be purses, that could be shoes, that could be whatever I want. But I set a monthly budget. Most of the months, I don't even use it all. And so what happens is I just roll that money over because I keep it in the same account. So for this particular drop and everything that's going on, I know I would have went over if I didn't have extra in my account for my budget. And so, I don't know. I was just like, 
I need to get my stuff back. So y'all know your girl loves Baccarat Rouge 540. It is my scent. I say my scent and it's probably thousands of other people, millions of other people, but I love it. Um, this perfume is very expensive to me. To some people, it probably is not. But I did get this. So before I open this, I want to show you what I did have. So this right here is the Mason Francis Kirkajan Paris. This is like a sampler. And so I got this one at a really good deal. Because normally this one was, I want to say it was $350. And I got it on sale for $250. Um, and I want to say I got it from... Nordstrom so I want to say I don't know where I got it from don't don't give me the line but this is the first one I got and y'all will see I've used quite a bit of them but what I wanted to tell you guys is there is a difference between the Baccarat Rouge Eda perfume and the Eda the extract there's a huge difference so with the one that comes in this type of bottle and it's kind of clear with the red but the thing you want to pay attention to is the Eda perfume you smell your baccarat and then it goes away and then it'll come back again and then it'll go away so this one kind of waxes and wanes i did not know that when i first started wearing baccarat rouge but I've done a lot of research on it. And so I was like, when I save up some money, I'm going to go ahead and get the extra. Now, this is a sampler. And as you can see, some of them are gone. Um, it was really nice to get this. And I'm really excited to show you what's in the next one. But this next one is strictly the Baccarat Rouge 540 in the extra form. Now, I will tell you, with the Eda Perfume... I do reapply, and it's hard to reapply a perf uh, a fragrance that you are spending 300 340 on. So I was using it very sparingly, but it's my favorite, y'all. So I decided to get this kit, um, and I'm in love. So this kit right here, it has a fifth one, but I have it inside of their special itemizer. This itemizer alone is $170. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell y'all this is a splurge. This is what luxury is about. I'm not one of those people that's going to hide the fact that I like luxury. I'm not going to hide that. But I'm also not going to hide the fact that I work hard and I save my money and so things like this, it is a splurge. Do I need this? Absolutely not. I don't. But I wanted it. You know what I'm saying? This set right here was $5.50. Just so you'll know. Again, I don't want people to be like, oh my gosh. You know, she ain't tell. No, I'm going to be transparent with y'all. I do very good with budgeting and getting things that I want. And I just want to share that with other people. Don't be afraid to enjoy luxury. Does everybody need it? No. Is it for everybody? No. But if it's something you want, don't be ashamed or embarrassed that you're spending money on things. Just like people that, um, I'll keep it purse community related, that buy authentic Louis Vuitton only. Don't be ashamed of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where in society we've gotten to the point that we shun what other people do with their finances. Um, that's a whole nother topic, but I feel like if you can afford it and do it comfortably, do it. But I think everybody deserves to experience luxury and luxury is whatever you say it is. And for me, this is luxury. It's a splurge. If you had asked me five to 10 years ago, what I had spent $500 on some, some cologne perfume, I would have told you absolutely not. Absolutely not. But that was because at that time, my kids were at home. My focus has always been family first, and it still is. But I do have that extra now that I can do. So let me get off my soapbox and tell y'all. So this right here is their itemizer. This thing is really weighted. I did read that if you take this in your um, purse through TSA, it will ding. It will set it off. So 
If you look at the top, it has the Mason Francis Carcajon label at the top. And on the back, it says Mason Francis Carcajon Paris. And y'all, y'all can almost see that pull on this. And so what you do is you just take the perfume and you just put it inside of here. You see that? What I did like is although this is the x -type version, and of course, when I ordered this, I already used up all of the Baccarat Rouge in there. Um, I do like that I can take the, the sample, well, the travel fragrance from the other one and put in here as well. You see that? This is so nice. And you see, I tried to put it on wrong and look. <laughs> so this was another splurge that I got along with this collection. Um, another thing that I'm doing this year, you guys, is I plan to like get all of my spring and summer purchases done before I start traveling. My purchases are going to slow down drastically because I just want to travel. This is my husband and I's first year um, where our kids are grown and gone. My son graduated college last year. He finished playing college football last year. So we have a lot of free time just for us. We've been together since high school. We've worked hard. We raised our kids. We have two wonderful kids that are respectable, doing their own thing. It's time for us to get back to us. And I'm not ashamed of that. Um, we do keep God at the head of our lives. And as long as he allows me to bless others, I will. But I do think that he knows it's important for us to pour back into ourselves. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to do individual what's in my bags on these items, but I thank you. Let me know what you got below. Let me know what you're still looking at. And tell me, do you think I should add the Willow 24? I think I just at least want to see it. So I don't know how I'm feeling about that. I do also still have the wristlet in the jean and the black coming as well as the sandal that looks like this from Macy's. And so again, you guys will see that in another video. Again, I'm sorry this is so long, but I hope you tuned in. And thank you so much for watching my channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave comments below and remember, be good to others, but be even better to yourself because we cannot pour from an empty cup. Bye-bye.